I think the first step is to demand transparency of the algorithm. You know, so in the United States right now, we're having battles about technologies that decide whether you get parole or not. You're a prisoner, and time comes up whether you're going to get parole or not. So they have these AI machines, and they feed in all the data about you, and out comes an answer, parole or no parole. And defense lawyers say, well, I want to know what the machine is considering and how it's considering it. And the answer the corporations who are building this machine say is either, we don't know, because it was a learning AI, so we just spit some things in and fed through it and it's developed whatever it's developed, or they say, it is a proprietary trade, uh, trade secrets that we have, and we can't be forced to give up our property in the context of selling you this product. And I think both of those have got to be recognized as invalid arguments. Like, we at least need to know what the values of the machine are so that we can decide, do we like the way this machine is regulating us? Do we approve of it or do we want to change it or have interventions to force it to change? And so at a very minimal level, once you embrace the idea code is law, then you embrace the idea that code has to be public because a law that's not public is not law. So if the code is not public, it is not law. And to the extent it is private, um, we defeat a really fundamental value of a democratic society that we get to decide on the rules that will uh, constrain us or control us or enable us. Um, so if there's a first step, it's that. Now that step alone is going to be incredibly hard to enforce. Mm -hmm.